just gonna tip it back, grab it by the handle, take this underneath. Do you need me to pull me? Yep, I'm here. I'm just gonna hang it to push it towards the kitchen. If it does collapse, it doesn't hit tile going for countertop. So. Lift it from the front side because the door just pulls out. Hey everyone, Chris here with Clutter Reduction Junk Removal in South Beach, Florida. And what you just saw was me and Tanya removing a refrigerator from a house. It was a delivery, which is why we had it wrapped up. Although I have wrapped up a refrigerator before for a junk removal, because of the situation, I didn't want it to scratch on the countertops. So actually not that far off from what we did here, but this was a delivery and we were bringing it to one of his family members house and then we, we removed the old one. So. The method you saw us do is something that I aim to do the majority of the time. Very rarely will we have an opportunity where I can grab it with a hand truck, pull it right back, take it right out of open kitchen, go right out the front door to my truck. Very rare does that happen. Oftentimes we have a tight spot, it's a tight kitchen, small space, quick little turn, or we have to feed it through a cabinet and kitchen island like we did there or maybe it's an apartment building and I have to bring it into an elevator and it's a small elevator. Having it up on the dolly, as long as it clears the doors, which it typically does, makes it that much easier because it's better maneuverability than having something leaning back on a piece that instantly takes it from this to this, which means that you go from like a 30 to 36 inch width to six feet because you have something on an angle now plus you. And it's just a lot harder to constantly, you know, lean it up and pull it back down and make tight turns versus having it upright. And you don't really, refrigerators roll, but they only roll in one direction. And when you go to turn it and drag it, that's how you can damage the floor. So you gotta be careful with that. So if you can have something up on something, like you could put it on a blanket and slide it around, but it's not as easy because you still have the weight factor. When you have it up on a dolly, you eliminate that weight factor and you still have that maneuverability to pull it around tight corners. You just have to make sure that you get it pretty well balanced and you're still keeping control of the piece. You don't want it to tip it one of two ways or fall. Obviously that is a very likely situation to have damage occur. So that method we do is what I often push for. And essentially what we were doing is I am taking a ratchet strap 
and tying it around the middle of the refrigerator, making sure not to get it in between the doors if it has a top and bottom drawer, because I don't want it rubbing on the little hinges inside. And I'm making sure not to put it over any handles if I can avoid it, because I don't want the pressure to crack the handles. And we'll crank it real nice and tight, and we'll always put like a blanket on the front cover. If I'm doing a junk remove, it doesn't matter. But I do that because that's like my middle handle now, so that way I can help hold on to the fridge to keep it from falling back as I'm doing my next step, which is I will intentionally lean it back as far as I can. And once you have that handle, you have pretty good grip. Try to put something on the bottom on the one side that you're lifting onto so you don't have that edge pushing into the flooring. In this case, we had the overlapping blanket that was kind of on the ground. Tip it back. You slide the dolly underneath the fridge as far as you can in the middle, try to center it, and then you push down and up. So you can see in the video a little bit, I'm pushing down on the piece on the edge, and then I'm pulling back with it like this. And that way I can turn it back up like this. And then as I'm walking with the piece, I'm always holding onto the handle. I have my hand wrapped around that ratchet strap at all times. So if it were to tip backwards, for example, I could catch it. If it tips sideways, I could pull it and then grab it with my other arm. Either way, I have that grip. And it's a grip that really helps out in that situation because you really get a good chunk of the weight distribution from the middle point of the fridge. So once it's up on the dolly, you just take it out. As you saw the door, we had to move it around a few times because a freaking weather strip was like this big and I couldn't get the dolly over it. And I kept pulling from the side, but the door was there. So the door would just kept opening on me. So we had to spin it around, but you can see like, it's still easy to navigate that way. You just have to find your right points. But overall, that was a pretty straightforward job. Um, we did have some issues at the elevator. We had to end up unwrapping it and take off all the handles and stuff because we thought it was gonna fit and it would have originally, but the elevator doors didn't open all the way back. So let's say this is the door and this is the opening to the elevator they would stop like here, which means that if the elevator opening is 36 inches, just like that countertop was, it should have just gone right in, but it didn't because the doors didn't open all the way and you could pry it back, but then they're gonna wanna come forward like this and I don't want them to scratch up the elevator or scratch up the refrigerator. So we ended up having to take all the handles off and it took a little longer than we thought it would, but at the end of the day, we still got it done. Tanya really helped to keep my patience in check because I'll get really annoyed in those kind of situations where like it shouldn't be a problem but it is because something else is, a, is causing it and I'll just get really annoyed really fast. So we got it done. It was a client we've done work for before. So now he has some of our cards for the building itself. Not that I really want to go back to that elevator but if we do you know that could be a repetitive work and yeah that was it. So if you guys ever need to remove a refrigerator whether it's for junk removal or, or a delivery try that method out i've made two other refrigerator videos in the past talking about them one of them is a little bit longer of a video because i talk about a few different situations you can do and different techniques one of them is exactly what we just did today and it's like a five minute video so it's up to you which one you want to kind of check out if you just go on my videos and search up refrigerator or fridge it should pull up uh, both of them and pretty easy process so the only time I wouldn't do it is if you have like a sub-zero fridge otherwise I've never had a fridge that I couldn't do it to before so give it a shot but that's it um, we're gonna be handling some other stuff today might do a ghost route either today or tomorrow and I think that's about it so until next time bye